My concerns for each person go in this order. Consciousness, well-being, and health. Now, when I'm talking about health, I just mean at that point physical health. Because consciousness is spiritual. Well-being, I mean mental. So first of all, what brings me to this exact topic is that I'm getting a call today from a guy from uh, an inventor's help place. I'm not going to try to name out any names. I'm not even going to say his name because it's not who he is. It's just who he's playing. You have to realize this really is happening. Nobody is their name and nobody is that. But as soon as I say this guy from this company, they become concrete ideas and they seem to matter more. Let's just say that somebody who's nobody, who doesn't represent companies that want to buy my idea, aren't calling me. But let's say maybe someone was. So they're going to call me and they're going to ask me about these ideas that I have for a thing I call bedroom kingdoms, which is basically giant Legos, Lincoln Logs, building blocks, all kinds of big toy contraptions that you actually build into your bed build into playground equipment, and eventually build into furniture and shelter for yourself using recycled materials and insulation and things like that. And you can put it together yourself and you can take it apart, stack it inside itself and move it wherever you want to go. And it's lightweight and it's sturdy. Now, I don't have all the intricate details of all those things, but I've had the ideas and I see them in my mind. And I've already been there. So if I try to say that like that to somebody, they won't get it. But at the same time, if I don't respect myself enough to be who I truly am in all these situations with a guy from a company that can potentially help me make millions of dollars, which I, I don't want even one penny. I want to see families happy. I want to see parents and children playing. I want to see bonds being formed between living beings. And if that makes me stupid, then I don't want to be associated with people who don't like that idea. So like first and foremost, I want to tell the guy that, hey man, I care more about your well-being and more importantly, your consciousness and your health than money, than making my idea presentable to make some dough. That doesn't mean anything at all to me. And by saying things like that to people, they seem so taken back by it because they've never heard anyone that really, really was that loving. It has no male or female attached to it. It has no race or gender attached to it. It just is there. And I want to say to them, what I would rather do is have you help me influence the world through maybe opening the door into people who are only able to be reached with a product or a material thing because they won't pay attention otherwise with my ideas and inventions, with my music and my videos. But really what I'm trying to do is heal the world. That's what everyone should have as their main goal to help the world. No one should have a main goal of being a great artist, being a great athlete. That's a personal thing that you want, a personal accomplishment. That's along the line. You just do that too. Why wouldn't you want to be healthy? Why wouldn't you want to be the best you can be? That's great. And if you end up doing it and someone's like, well, they have an aspiration to be a great, you know, in great shape or to be the best they can be, that that should be everybody's anyway. Congratulations for one person for saying that that's what they want and only pointing it towards one thing and not towards other people in the world in general. There's no congratulations deserve worthy for an athlete who made a name for himself on a team with a number and a merchandise sales center. There's no, there's, there's no congratulations necessary for those people. I'm happy to see you happy, and I'm happy to see that you'll be able to provide for your little family and the ones you care about. And other people, you won't even give them a thought. <clears throat> now, if you could treat people like what they are, wonderful living life itself, and actually care about the world, that's what I want to work with. But since that option has never been available, 
I have to create that option for myself. I have to be bold enough to say to people, I, I, have, I have bigger plans and, and dreams as a human being, but I have even more importantly, vast knowledge to spread throughout existence. I've already been to the astral realms and I've always been to those places like always, not just already as a human being already, but I've always been there. What's really weird is it's hard for me sometimes, it used to be way harder to separate Danness from, from God in my own mind. And that sounds weird for me to say so normally, but it's true. Like I sometimes don't remember that I'm supposed to have a name, number, address because it's silly when it comes down to why so people can keep track of you. You know, if, you, if it's for your friends and family to address you like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, uh, that thing. That's different. But when people do it because they're monitoring you and making sure that you're doing things and making sure that you're upholding your part of the, the bargain. Well, I didn't bargain with anybody. I was born as a human being. But I created this and I remember that. And I, I don't say it very much to people, but when I have to permit, present myself as Dan, an inventor of an idea, to a guy from a company, it really belittles myself to even think that I'd step into the arena of accepting some money for my idea so I could maybe better my life. I feel like that's a slap in my own face, and I feel like it's a step backwards. I don't even know how to say that to my parents. I'm like, I really don't want to work with these guys now. I know that I paid thousands of dollars to get this idea patented and then I didn't have the money to do the manufacturing so I sort of had to just put it on the side and now I have somebody calling me wanting to buy my patent and wanting to brand it and wanting to do all these things already like they said be ready with a pen and paper and we're going to work on the branding so I have people who are definitely interested in my ideas but I'm not interested in money I'm not interested in status and I'm not interested in all at material things what I need to do is get that point so deep into everybody's head because there is everybody, which is everyone. Because everything is one. You notice there's everybody, everything, and everyone. Why is every on there? Because ever is one thing. The why is yonder in yoke. And one is all we've ever been. So we think we break into bodies and we think we break into things. So that's why. And every day, every daemon, every deity, every being, that's what we're doing. We've always been doing it. We'll never be doing anything else. And it's hard to wrap your head around it for even one brief semi-second, let alone your whole life and your existence. And to go around people who won't accept that from you and say stuff like, act normal, it's really hard. Imagine how you would feel. And I'm not just saying it because if you sat down with me for, for an hour and had your mind clear and weren't worried about the outside world, you'll see that there is no separation between you, I, God, the weeds in the field. Nothing. We're all just names and numbers unless we stop allowing ourselves to be. Now, I am not names and numbers. When I say we all, that's the we. That's us out there. W-E, whimsical energy, just wondrous expressions. That's what's happening. We just give them all names and shapes and colors and numbers and letters. And that's just what it is. So when I talk to this guy, I'm going to be as caring and as Danish as I can. But even Danish people, think about that, Danish. It's sort of funny. And a Danish is something that you wake up and have. Hmm. So I'm going to try to talk to him and say, I don't want to just play along and sell my idea, but I feel like that's a foot in the door. So I sort of just have to be as true and honest without saying too much because people don't seem able to handle the truth, truth. You got to give them a little bit at a time, like spoon feeding a baby. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean like it's heavy stuff. And you got to digest it a little at a time. So what I was saying is that, that I'm excited about this call. But since consciousness, well-being, and health are more important to me than material or money, 
it, it's hard to sell an invention. It's hard to sell an idea. It's hard to even think about money, let alone sell something at all. So it's a perplexed moment in the idea mind of this Dan Alexander figure that I happen to be involved in and evolving in. But it's another exciting thing that I accept and have to be as honest as I can without overstepping things that people can accept. So that's all for this time. Peace.